there guys, this is Jonathan Strickland, senior writer with HowStuffWorks.com, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the future of privacy. Now, this is a, a big topic right now, and there are two main schools of thought or philosophies that are kind of at war with one another. So on the one hand, you have this idea of being able to share information with the people you know and love and have free associations with them in various ways on social media, and that's fantastic. And in a way, we are all creating a life story online. So it's almost like every single one of us can have a biography of our own lives told in bits and pieces and status updates and tweets and pictures and videos. And this is a, a fantastic way of accumulating information about yourself and sharing it with the people you know and love. That's a positive side, it's a positive philosophy, and it's something that I think is going to continue into the future. But on the other side, you have issues about violations of privacy and security breaches. So there are a lot of security risks when it comes to sharing information. I'm sure you're all aware of this. If you share too much information, you might give someone the keys they need in order to access accounts, including things like bank accounts or online social networks, and to perhaps sabotage your online presence. You may also even put yourself at risk if there's someone out there in the world who maybe doesn't get along with you so well. The more information you share, the more, well, ammunition you give to that person. Well, these two philosophies obviously conflict with one another, at least on a, a certain level. So what's going to win out? Well, if we see online social networks get their way, the first philosophy wins out because that's the bread and butter for online social networks. Uh, Facebook will tell you, really, the main product they sell are its users because they're selling the information to online advertisers and that's where Facebook gets its money. Social networks in general are like that, not just Facebook. This is not necessarily a bad thing. It means that we get targeted advertising, which could be much more pertinent to us than just a random ad on a website. But on the flip side, there are some dangers with this as well. The more personal information that's available to anyone, the more likely we can have someone take advantage of us. Well, according to Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, he believes that every single year that passes, people are going to share twice as much information digitally as they did the year before. It's almost like Moore's Law for digital information. Let's look at it from the other side. Let's assume that people, after maybe a brief period, realize that this sort of sharing can lead to disaster. What we'll probably see is we'll see people withdraw a little bit from online presence. We may even see legislation leveled down to help prevent and protect people uh, from sharing too much about themselves. Now in that case, you're talking about a state-sponsored censorship regime. It's, it's a little dangerous on that side as well. So I think what we're gonna see is some turmoil. We're going to see people continue to share a lot more information, especially as the youngest generations uh, grow up with this technology at their disposal. We're probably gonna see a big shakedown, maybe five, 10 years in the future. We're gonna see an overreaction to that shakedown where things get clamped up. Then we're gonna see the reaction to that following and we're gonna have oversharing all over again. And this cycle is going to repeat over and over and over. And if you don't believe me, think about this. Way back when, when we all lived in tiny little villages, everyone always knew what everyone else was up to. See you there. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts, free, on iTunes.